So I hear yesterday was a big day in the program. Uh, I certainly see there is a concerted effort by uh, multiple uh, multiple countries, not to mention agencies and people, who are seemingly uh, working together in a uh, in a coordinated a coordinated campaign against me, Stephen Bell, and it's one of these really peculiar situations again uh, where an entire global operation is being uh, is being based around me and is being justified on the supposed uh, on that I'm supposedly a Hitler which can justify anything uh, which uh, states and their intelligence agencies want to do uh, and give themselves of uh, unilateral powers uh, over the public at large and uh, seemingly uh, it's so justified that the people generally speaking are going along with the state and their intelligence agencies at a at an alarming rate uh, micromanaging the public what they can do what they can't do what they need to believe what they shouldn't believe what they mustn't do and uh, what they have to do and believe uh, all on the, all on behest of uh, the state and the intelligence agencies. I'm noticing this best here in Denmark because I obviously live here, and uh, I can tell you from first-hand uh, accounts that the public are being so micromanaged, and it's it's this complete and utter nanny state. Uh, where the government and uh, authorities in general, not to mention the state arbiters, are dictating constantly over the people what they can and con can and cannot do and what they need to believe in. And it's getting so pathetic uh, that, uh, that the Danish intelligence agency, PET, is using uh, the program's global communication system uh, to, uh, to conduct or, or, and or control these uh, micromanagements over the populations and and I'm obviously witnessing this in any kind of encounter that I'm having with anyone be it the doctor or be it uh, the grocery clerk <clears throat> they're literally all being uh, communicated to uh, if I'm in their presence by the state arbiters who are using this uh, a synthetic telepathy communication system to communicate uh, silently if you will uh, to the people in my whereabouts and to people in general uh, which is obviously the preferred method for the state arbiters of the program to communicate uh, their orders and directions to the people uh, not just here in Denmark and or on a local scale but uh, generally speaking, this kind of communication system is using on a, is being used at a much broader scale as well. So we are seeing uh, electromagnetic uh, communication systems, which were uh, previously classified uh, and uh, kept quite secret. Now, uh, synthetic telepathy uh, is being used uh, publicly by states and intelligence agencies towards towards the publics at large and that's on top of uh, the other uh, what you might say is uh, exotic technology which is being used in the program which is them uh, which their capa technolo technological capabilities to create virtual movie fabrications and uh, and transmit these virtual movies uh, which they continuously not only fabricate but broadcast to huge portions of the world and I have been against my will I might add selected to be the protagonist in all of these virtual movie fabrications which they on a daily basis create and uh, broadcast and I guess uh, it, this is still being used uh, heavily uh, as the main method which they justify everything that they want to do uh, every power, as I said, every power and uh, influence they want over the public, they're using these uh, technologies which I'm describing here 
to give themselves uh, those pretexts and justifications by uh, by using propaganda and psychological operations, aka psyops, to uh, to justify uh, their their plans, what they want. They the they will often create a uh, pretext for by using one of these technologies that I have described here and that is always why you see that I have uh, have no role or, or I'm, not, I'm not vocal about a given situation because I simply don't know despite being the protagonist this is also why you're seeing why you're not seeing rather why I'm not being raided by the police why I'm not being called in to for for interviews why I'm not being raided by the police despite all of this rampant criminality that I'm supposedly engaging in according to the state arbiters and I'm not talking about my past I'm talking about uh, my my daily life uh, where the state arbiters continuously claim that I'm some kind of criminal uh, which I'm obviously not hence why I'm not being raided and not being interviewed by the police and, and whatnot uh, and that is also why I'm not uh, responding to a particular uh, claim, allegation or narrative that is being perpetuated because I generally speaking don't have a, uh, a clue of what, uh, what is being proclaimed despite being the so-called protagonist. And, uh, and that is uh, particularly interesting in light of such a, uh, a concerted campaign that was uh, mounted against me Stephen Bell yesterday uh, all over the world. Uh, so that put things into perspective and uh, I, uh, I hope this helps some people understand what is happening in reality, especially my reality, versus the never-ending propaganda narrative that are being broadcasted uh, by the state arbiters.